actually going to do an introduction to four dolls that I have gotten in the past year that you have not met yet. These actually are one, four of them that I just changed the eyes in because I got an order of my favorite brand of eyes today. So I was waiting so, so long to order these eyes. I have to go through a shopping service. Um, and I, it always costs quite a bit. So I'm never like real gung ho to order. So it's, these guys have been sitting with either no eyes or really creepy bad eyes for a long time. So I changed them. And there's actually a lot more that I need to change, but I thought four at a time would probably be plenty. So today we're just going to do the four, since changing eyes in a BJD is not exactly uh, the simplest task, especially when you're trying to get the design on these exactly even on both sides. So hopefully I did a good job. Let's see, who should we start with? Um, actually, you have met this one. This one I recently made a video on because she is one of my grails, which I'm now going to have three of because Soom has released them again. Hold on, I didn't get her head on right. There we go. So I finally got her eyes in and I actually really, really like these blue ones. I think they look really good and now she has gorgeous eyelashes all installed. So she is finished. I'm really excited about how cute she is and so yeah. Finally, finally have a Sum Andine completed, and I'm so happy with her. I can't wait to get the third one because I'm going to send her to Nomians and have her completely redone in a really, really pretty feminine way. I can't wait. I don't even know what I'm going to do. So, yeah, I've got to start thinking about that, even though it'll be a couple months before she gets here. Let's see, the next thing I think will be this Deer Mine Bean. Everybody knows I'm a Deer Mine Bean fanatic. I absolutely love them. This is one of their newer sculpts. This is not a cat. This is a bunny. I forget what its name is. Um, but I'm actually going to be ordering another one because they just released one in a bright pink uh, skin called like Cherry Blossom or something for spring. So I'm going to order that uh, here pretty soon. But this is her, and not only are her ears really cute, but her tail, actually I think I'll make this a boy. His tail is super fluffy and adorable, and I just love it. And these ears are so cute. I don't know what even style this would be. Um, he's painted with like a very light green style. So I put some really cute light green star eyes in him, and I just think he's so cute. His little ears actually are magnetic, so you can kind of do whatever you want to with them, um, and they just pop right off. So yeah, super, super cute, super adorable. I love Deer Mind Beans. I've actually gotten a quite a few of them since I made videos before, so maybe we'll do another Deer Mind Bean update video soon. So yes, this is, this is one of my newest ones. The next one is actually by the company Coco Rang. Coco Ring, something like that. It's a Korean company and they're a few years old, but um, they just started making these smaller dolls recently. And so far I have three, but I ordered two more uh, a while ago, so those should be coming soon in a pink. They're also pink. Um, it seems like the dolls this year are all pink, which is my absolutely my weakness pink skin dolls. So I can't wait to get those. There's going to be a bunny and a cat in the pink skin. But this is a little squirrel and he had really, really creepy eyes that they sent with him. So I changed them for these really pretty bright blue ones with like little stars and moons and stuff in them. And his tail is really, really cute. Really, really cute. And I ordered this outfit with him. He is meant to be a little wizard. So yeah, his little hat comes off and he's just a little chipmunk squirrel but and his ears also move too they're jointed which is so adorable and I just love this outfit it reminds me of like Lord of the Rings or uh what's that one that's about squirrels I don't know I forget there's like a fantasy book about squirrels um yeah so there's this he also came with a little sword but I forgot it in the cabinet over there I don't see it right off the bat, so I'm not going to look for it. <laughs> okay, and the last doll that 
I have. I just got the eyes after this poor guy's probably sat for almost a year <sighs> because I had to order 16 millimeter eyes and I it just took me forever to order. It just costs a lot and I just didn't get around to it. Um, but he is a Dear Mine Griffin. I really like these eyes too. I think he looks really cool. But he has the like lion feet, I guess. Are they lion birds? I don't know. Like a lion back feet and then the bird front feet. And he's really, really cute. I don't think I got his head on all the way, of course. And then his wings are actually double jointed. Um, there's a joint like right there as well. I'm so scared to move him again, just like a lot of my other dolls because his painting is very, very uh, detailed and it's very, very, uh, how do you say, like, He's, it's all over his feathers and stuff. I can get... Oh, there we go. But it's it's got a lot of detail, so needless to say, I'm quite scared about moving his wings and stuff because I'm so afraid I'm going to chip him. And that would be a really a shame because these... This blushing is absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah, I really, really like him. I haven't used him yet. Um... The initial idea was to have one of my Lotties be like a, I don't know, like they were going to ride him or something, but I'm, I don't think that I will be able to stick one on his back without chipping his gorgeous body blushing, so I think I will just have them stand beside him. <laughs> Maybe he's too regal and important to actually be ridden by anything, and that's what I'm thinking, because... If I put anything on him, he's going to chip, and that will be a real shame, and I just can't do it. So anyway, guys, that is four of my newest dolls that I hadn't shown you guys. I'm very glad that they finally have their eyes, and they are all complete and looking adorable. Let's see, what else do I have? <sighs> I have four dolls out to know me ends, which she hasn't started yet. But hopefully she'll start soon, so I will do a video on that when they arrive. I also have a lot more dolls to show you, and I also have a whole bunch of miniatures that I have not shown you. In fact, I don't think I showed you any of my uh, last year's miniature show haul. I don't think I'm going to the Chicago miniature show this year. I spent too much money on other things this year, like... This spring has been insane for doll releases. Um, there have been so many of the dolls that I've just really been waiting for that have just suddenly <sighs> all been released at the same time. So I spent all of my doll or my all my miniature show money on more dolls. So I don't think I'll be going, but that's okay because honestly, uh, my miniature collection is unreal. There's my new snail back there. So cute. So anyway, guys, I will talk to you soon. I'm sure I have more updates. So many more. Talk to you later. Bye.